enemies, you have not a clue what you got in your possession. You don't have, you don't have a clue, man. And you about to fuck them up like they fucked you up. Because you, as soon as they get here, you let you, now you got them doing yearly checkups. Fuck you. Why you think they do a yearly checkup when you that young? They gotta. That's when you at your pot, your purest. That's when your solar chi is at its strongest. They gotta make sure your ass ain't gonna shift. When you first come, they ain't diluted your diet yet. They ain't watered you down yet. You pure. They got you do a yearly and make you take your child and get a yearly checkup. See what I'm saying? After so long, you don't need them no more. They already got you then. You know, but we come here as these newborn babies and these new and these avatars, but in full tact, full power. And then they program us. They teach us to for, to forget who we are. I teach you to remember who you are. But in this on in this matrix, as soon as we come, they start teaching us, programming us to forget who and what we are. Yes, it's definitely a frequency war. But they program you to forget who you are. This is what school is about. Teaching you to forget who you are. So you go through 12 years of it too. 13 if you include college. They go that 13 again. Because they came here 13 colonies deep in the beginning. But they will always hold the oath to those 13 original bloodlines. Oh, bloodlines. Now we're talking Bilberger Group. Now we're talking Bavarian Illuminati. Now we're talking Freemasons. The real ones, though, the ones that's running shit, the evil ones. We are not Freemasons. We are the original Master Masons, though, because we are the original builders. Remember, they stole everything from us and diluted it. But when you're talking these bloodlines, this is where your Illuminati come from. Your Bilberger group. See, people be just saying, Illuminati, you don't know what the fuck you talking about. You can't connect it back to the cosmos. Why are they the Illuminati? What oath do they take to that bloodline? And that's why white people, middle class white people, poor white people, you didn't get in, dog. You are genetic mutations. A lot of you all are clones. They cloned themselves. So you have to understand in the beginning, when they landed on our planet... After they started to defeat us and, and took and, and, and was able, they never fully defeated us, but they gained control of the frequency of the planet. Once they gained control of the frequency, it was only 13 original colonies of human beings that came here originally. But once they gained control of the planet, they began to clone themselves, millions and millions of themselves. They showed you this in Star Wars. Remember, there was only one robot. That Darth Vader had, but he had cloned that one robot. So he had a million of them in the army. They had on all white. They were standing there with the. Let him who has eyes see clearly. So those original 13 colony bloodlines, they, they took that oath to that bloodline. That's why when they did conquer, they set up the 13 colonies. The American flag, because America, Great Britain, run everything, has what? 13 red blood stripes on it. Count the, flag, count the red stripes on the American flag. It's going to be 13. That stands for each bloodline. It's 13 bloodlines running the, whole, running the whole matrix. And they all answer to Queen Elizabeth. She's the queen of the hive. She's the head reptilian. And she answers to these, the, the, the alpha draconian reptilians. And these Alpha Draconi reptilians who are really the fallen gods, shape-shifting and posing as these Draconian reptilians. Oh yeah, it get deep. The rabbit holes runs deep. Because the reptilians ain't nothing but the fallen gods posing as reptilians. Because remember, their father Zeus, who is the head of the whole army, Satan, 
is the master of confusion. And he's the father of lies. He is the father of lies. See, you, we can use the Bible to find out a little bit about his character. See, once you understand what the Bible is, it's their creation story. Now read the Bible from that point. And understand other stories like the story of Jesus, Jesus and all those about different prophets. Those were real stories, nigga. But they switched all the names up and switched the skin colors up. Proverbs is spells. They got Proverbs and Psalms from our, one of our book of spells. No, and nobody know that. Psalms in the Bible and Proverbs in the Bible comes from fucking spells. Our original spells we've been had and they just changed a couple words around, but not too many. Especially if you go read the original King James Version of Psalms. Why do you think anytime you practice magic, they always... Certain spells require you to use certain psalms. For those who practice voodoo and hoodoo and you have evolved to that level of it. I know y'all in here. Y'all know I ain't lying. Why does it require you to recite certain psalms? Certain protection spells require certain psalms. Because psalms and proverbs are ancient pages from... Listen, they have... All our books under the Vatican. All our, well, majority of our history. Not all of it. Because we have a whole bunch of Wakandas right here on this realm of Atlantis that we don't know about. They, they showed you Wakanda to make you aware of all these more gods that exist. And they shut themselves off from this matrix. Because when they did the takeover, some of the gods and goddesses retreated. And they set up their own little energetic force fields and forests all around the planet. And the government know this, but they can't find them. They can't get to them. See? That's what Wakanda was about. Remember, Killmonger had to go to Wakanda. He was living, but Wakanda was right here in the middle of America. And we know that America is really North Africa. We should know that now. See? It's all one big landmass surrounded by water with ice wall. The continent's not broken up. They got you believing that. America is North Africa. And they got the, the sign, they got, they reversed everything. So really south is north. East is really west. And west is really east. Okay. So this is why America is really North Africa. Because if, if you look at this map. Then America will be South Africa. Even if you could look at it with a side of eye. They told you left was right. And right was left. Right is really left. And left is really right. North is really south. South is really north. East is really west. And west is really east. They did this because. How can you go anywhere if you don't even know where you at? How can you get started if you don't even know where you at? Think about it. When you want to go somewhere, what they ask you on the GPS? What's your current location? We can't give you, we can't tell you how to get to where you're trying to go without knowing your current location. So they flipped the map upside down, reversed east and north, south and west, left and right, right and left. Taught you these bullshit Roman numerals as opposed to teaching you real supreme mathematics. Took all the alpha, the whole alpha beta system, which was a dumbed down system that we gave them. They took that and dumbed it down more and then taught it back to you. All the Latin, we created the Latin word, the Latin language as well. We created everything. So this is why you don't know real Latin. Because they keep that hidden from you. Because when you recite real Latin... You're going to open up all type of portals because everything requires a certain vibration. You can control fire, water, air, earth. So air bending, earth bending. This is geokinesis, pyrokinesis, hydrokinesis. 
But you have to be working with the right vibrations. I just saw a video of a shaman somebody sent me and he was pushing the whole ocean back with his hand. He just had the staff and he was reciting vibrations. See, he might have seen crazy. The man pushed the whole ocean back. You seen the water recede. The water receded off the shore and started going back. And then he and brought it back and it started coming back on. on. Y'all look it up. And see, a lot of people think the videos are fake. No. Notice the passion and the vibrations he was saying. Most people won't even know what he was saying because you've been dumbed down with English. You see how they work? The words are curses. The words are what hinder you. This is why you should always say, I am that I am. Always say that affirmation every day. I am that I am. Because that's all that you are. That's the only thing that you know for certain is definite in this matrix. Because the eyes can be easily fooled. Ooh, you have no clue how deep magic gets. And it's cosmic law that they must tell you. So they have told you through their movies. You have no clue, man. You got gypsies out here that will make your ass think you in New York City. And you'll spend your whole life living in New York City. And your ass in a house somewhere in the middle of the desert. You have no clue. The power of magic. It's nothing to be played with. And it's very dangerous. That's why I keep telling you little smoothies online. Stop trying to motherfucking invoke spirits. Is you crazy, man? You have no clue. How advanced the quantum realms really are. I always say it's power beyond your comprehension, man. It's colors that, that, that you can't even see that exist. It's sounds that you can't even hear that exist. It's beings walking all around you that you can't even see that exist. This is how far you have been made to drop in frequency. At a time, you were at the top above all these things. Now you have been, those of you stuck down in this realm, in this matrix, have been completely cut off from everlasting life around you. Your ancestors and all creation around you. This ain't no joke, man. It ain't no joke. And they putting out more and more movies to let you know how real it is because this shit is over with. Go watch Lovecraft Country. Boy, they gave you so, much, so many gems in that. When she, when Letty went to the mob to cast out the evil scientists out of her house, well, that's real. We went through that in our house. My mama cast out over 500 spirits in our house in Chicago. I told y'all that story before. They wasn't fucking with me. They was fucking with her. I ain't hear shit. I was asleep. But I know growing up, I always heard motherfuckers walking up and down the stairs in the crib. And then it stopped. I, the presence was, was just gone. So now that I'm on a high vibrating plane, I can understand. Because when, when she told me, I thought she was crazy. I'm like, oh, that mom, man. But over time, like, oh, no, moms wasn't. She just advanced. She was putting me on game young. My mama was teaching me this shit when I was five, y'all. Six, y'all. That's what people don't know about me. Like, what if it just be talking? Give a fuck how long you been on YouTube, nigga. I've been on this journey. I came here on this journey. Nigga, I was three. Asking, pondering about the questions of the universe. You better ask a motherfucker that know Rashad Jamal. Any motherfucker gonna tell you that? Like, boy, this ain't no new shit. That boy been... Any teacher you talk to. I got, I was in gifted class every, all through school. What you talking about? Kindergarten through eighth grade, gifted class. We had three levels. LD, learning disability. Then you had your average kids. Then you had gifted. I was all there every year, nigga. I went to Noble Street College Prep. The top college prep school in fucking Chicago. You had to get, come on, man. This ain't no shit. I just, that's why motherfuckers, they know me. You don't know me, fam, because you see I got these and I come out the streets, nigga. That don't mean I can't be intelligent because I come out the streets, nigga. I was intelligent in school and outside of school, I was on your motherfucking ass, nigga. I'm a jack of all trades. 
And I apply this same intelligence to the streets. Remember, when I went to jail on my attempt murder, I beat my case, nigga. I had, a, I had a public defender, and I had to tell her what to say at the very end. I was really doing next all the questions I asked. The lawsuit that I won against Cook County Jail, which I've been showing y'all on live. Y'all been seeing them documents for 18000 I put that in inside of a cell. That's why you YouTubers be blowing me. Oh, well, he just came out since last year, so he and he, he knew him. What? I just decided to go to YouTube last year, nigga. And before I got on YouTube, I got talked on to that. My mama seen me downtown in the middle of the George Floyd's ride beating ass, nigga. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Front line. Day one, nigga, not day two, three, four. I went day one, day two, day three, nigga. Day four, I went four days straight down there, nigga. We was in, if you in Atlanta, you know I ain't lying. We was down there every day. Matter of fact, fuck it. Wherever the fuck you had on the planet, niggas was outside every day behind that shit last year. Nigga, my mama like, look, you don't need to be doing that. Go look at my first Facebook live. My motherfucking face is swole from fighting with the police, nigga. That was my first live. I'm like, man, who gonna tell my story? I'm always fighting for against the police, teaching real shit, but I wasn't like public with teaching real shit. You see what I'm saying? I just like keep it to myself or tell people I knew, but I'm ten toes in a fight. And I just started talking. And my like, damn, that's deep. You need to go live tomorrow. So I went live the next day. That's how it went. And I just kept going live. But my first live that started this whole university was for me coming downtown. I had just got through beating ass. We had just got through beating ass. Had y'all bitch ass in the CNN building. Y'all was scared. Y'all was scared. And then they didn't even roll the footage of how y'all got up in that bitch. They just showed y'all in that bitch. But we was out there acting a whole ass and some. For fuck she said, we was a whole, a whole donkey and a half out there. You feel me? Facts, nigga, we was the donkey off Winnie the Pooh Bear and we was Tigger and Pooh Bear. Fuck, we had the whole gang out there, nigga. It was nothing but animals, Winnie the Pooh, you hear me? We was Winnie the Pooh and the family out there, nothing but animals, nigga, you hear me? <laughs> nothing but animals behind this George Floyd shit last year downtown, nigga. Y'all ass was shook, they was shook. The police was shook, nigga. They be, they ain't want to come back out Yeah, we had their ass. <laughs> I, I wasn't finna run my goof ass up in there, though. I ain't stupid, though. Shit, bring y'all bitch ass out back out here, nigga. You hear me? But I ain't run, we ain't running up in there, nigga. We gon' we didn't bag y'all bitch out. Right, facts. Then my mom like, you need to be teaching because you know too much information. And if you, if you, what? If, I mean, yeah, I know you're not scared to die, but at the end of the day, you can help more people if you teach them. I'm like, you right, mom. I still wasn't trying to hear nothing moms was saying. Three days later, my homie E, Earn, my big brother, one of my mentors, he hit me. Man, bro, listen, G, I know you gonna go, but them people ain't like you down there. Because see, my mom and him know me, know me. They're like, gee, you down there really ready to take some lives behind this shit. For they, they, everybody ain't on that down there. Some people just down there to the loot. Some motherfuckers just down there to loot, G. You down there to really kill some shit behind our people, G. He like, if I don't lose your life for them people, they ain't gonna get no fuck about you, G. He like, if anything, you need to start, start teaching them, G. Because you got too much information. People flock to your voice, bro. You the messenger, G. How the fuck we gonna wake all our people up if the messenger out here doing all the fighting, nigga? Nah, no, you the messenger, nigga. That's what my homie told me. And then my mama told me that. And I didn't want to hear that. Because I'm, I'm a warrior too. So I'm like, nah, nigga, I want to get active, nigga. You feel me? And then, I, I, I don't know God's name, but I feel like it was a spiritual advisor. He hit me up on Facebook. And he reached out to me. He was like, he seen one of my lives. He seen the live. And he, he, I guess he took a liking to my spirit. You know, he ancestors in him. He hit me up. He got to put me on deeper game. He like, man, meditate, go in. And I followed and I listened all the way through. And it was just revealed to me. They were like, yeah, you already got the keys. This is what we need you to do. And I'm like, damn, but I want to do this. They're like, no, I'll do it this way. And that's why I started teaching. And every day I taught it was free. I ain't charging them. If we didn't have a website. I was teaching for three-hour lectures. Laptop out. Go back, watch. I had a little afro. Facebook, but that shit started changing because Facebook started kicking me off. Then we went to Insta, came to Instagram. Then it went to YouTube. Then, if you notice, I wasn't always aggressive with my lectures. It was more like me straight teaching. I, I like to be in straight nerdy boy, nerdy mode teaching and shit too. But it made me alter my teaching style because I started receiving death threats back in December from the government for teaching. Facts. Then in January, that's when people in my university started turning on me for the first time. Tried to slander me. I was hurt, but I kept going. You know what I'm saying? That ain't stopping nothing like that. They ain't gonna betray me like that. Fuck them. I kept going. That's the first time I realized, like, oh, okay, even though you teaching people, you got to remember this social media. Everybody ain't real. 
If I say I fuck with you, I fuck with you. I'm wholehearted. Because if I don't fuck with you, I'm going to just say that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't no bitch. Now, I feel like a person that got to lie and act like they fuck with somebody, you's a bitch. Like, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's like it's like Scarface with me. You know, like my word and my balls, my nuts, all I got, nigga. Like, I ain't breaking the bitches for nobody, nigga. Like, you feel me? Like, and I and I take this in my heart. To, to not be no bitch coming from where I come from, like stand your ground. Like I ain't never been no shit starter, and I'm not the tough. I'm not saying the toughest person walk. I don't start shit, but if you bring it to me, you better know I'm a I'm a finish it though. You feel me, nigga? That's me. I'm a go straight gorilla mode, like quick though. You know what I'm saying? That's just who I am. But I ain't gonna start shit and as quick as I say something. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm as easily to to apologize and work the shit out if it can be worked out because I, I am for peace. But I'm a Sagittarius, and we light switches. We light switches. We light switches, but one thing about a sash, nigga, we we wholeheartedly, we man, we good people, man. Like a motherfucker, we man, motherfucker, I ain't finna motherfucker get, get, get literally give you my heart out my chest, nigga. I'm giving, I, I'm doing it on live. What fuck you talking about? Feel me like that's just us. You feel me like? But people don't be liking us because we speak so bold, so we come off as disrespectful. But nigga, I ain't disrespectful. I'll just keep it real, nigga. If you told me right now. Your lips dry. I'm not going to get mad. I'm like, good looking. And if you say the shit funny enough, I'm going to laugh with you, nigga. But one thing about a Sag, boy, is I'm, I'm honest. So if I fuck with you, if I say I love you, I love you. I mean it, nigga. I ain't, ain't no halfway in with me. I ain't no halfway in ass motherfucker. I ain't two-faced. I ain't none of that. I ain't on that Gemini shit. And that ain't dissing no Geminis, but... A lot of Geminis do be two-faced, man. The, everybody that is snake, my baby mama snake me, she's a Gemini. My best friend who I had caught my attempt murder on ever my 20-year nigga. He tried to fuck my mama. Then he threatened to take my life. I had to remind his ass, like, folks, nigga, you ain't no gangster, nigga. You was a drug dealer, nigga. I'm the muscle, nigga. Niggas ain't robbed you because of me, nigga. You gonna threaten my mama? Okay, I'ma. You feel me? We ain't while that brother shit out the window. And that was a tough decision to make. But if you go listen to my pain and agony song, I talk about it. That ain't no shit I'm proud of. That ain't no shit I, that I had to get out on a nigga that I considered a brother, but nigga got out on me first. So when she threatened my mama and now that shit coming to the play and threaten me, ain't no more brother, nigga, because I went and did it to you. Nigga, it's me and you I ain't finna bring your mama in that shit, nigga. And we in the shower. What you talking about? You gonna do to a nigga mama in the shower? Why, why I know a nigga do that to my... Nigga, please, nigga. You hear me? Still gave the nigga a pass. He run up on me. Okay, it go like it go. Then what he do? Tell the police and a few more of the guys. They tell the police. So I don't fuck with them niggas. Oh, police ass bitch made niggas. Then niggas wanna know why I don't come back through the hood no more. Why? So y'all can call the police on me? Fuck out of here, nigga. Niggas bitches. That's what y'all is, nigga. You niggas know I, I applied all the pressure on the block. Facts. Niggas bitches. The block ain't been the same without me, nigga. You niggas stood up for a snitch. Turned on me. When I put my life on the line for you niggas for 10 years straight. Held it down, nigga. Island Iverson of this shit for the hood, nigga. The little engine that could. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? I'm going to the cup every time behind the block, nigga. And y'all came into court and, and told on me, nigga. That shit broke my heart. You know what I'm saying? The streets broke my heart, too. It was like... You know, like, damn. You hear me? Boy, I've been going through heartbreak my whole life. You know how many goddesses I've been with, been there for their kids, kind of find them bitch dog me out because she know I'm a good nigga, I'm going to take care of kids. I ain't saying I ain't never been wrong. I've been wrong. Hell, y'all done been wrong, nigga. It had been some relationships where they ended because I was wrong, nigga. See what I'm saying? But, like, it had been times I got dogged about goddesses because I'm the type to be on some family shit. I'm a real one. That's how my mama raised me, like, you feel me? Even at 16, 17, you got, you got a baby? Come on, bring your baby. I ain't the leave your baby, find a babysitter. It ain't never been me. It, at the youngest of my, of, that was never me. I just wasn't raised like that. You know, I got good upbringing, I guess. I'm blessed, I can say. You feel me? I, I come from a good family. I don't come from no, yeah, we, yeah, my family from Cabrini Green Projects. But that don't mean I got a bad family. I still come from a good upbringing and a good family. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like, I just wasn't raised like that. Yeah, you feel me? I respect my elders. There's certain shit I ain't gonna do. If I ain't gonna steal, I ain't gotta lie. I ain't finna do no unrighteous shit. That don't mean I can't make a mistake, yeah. But I ain't finna do no foul shit. I ain't finna do nothing where you gonna have to look at me sideways, man. 
And a lot of times throughout my life, I've been attacked. So when it do get to social media, I'm seeing people attacking me because you looking at like, damn, how he got so many followers in nine months. Bro, I didn't choose this shit. This shit chose me, nigga. I was rapping a couple years back, nigga. But once they tried to get me to sell my soul, nigga, that broke my heart. Nigga, music broke my heart with that. It's like I worked my heart off to get to this point to get in the office with these white, fe white people and not get in the office just to find out that Santa Claus ain't real. That's what I'm saying. Like, nigga, I've been back to back heartbreak for me, nigga, for years, nigga. Losing my niggas. I keep the vibrations high. I'm from Chicago, nigga. My, all my people in Chicago, I'm losing niggas every day. I just don't post the shit because I don't want to lower no vibrations, boy. You feel me? And every now and then, if it's the right one, I got to post it. But I hear everything, you feel me? So, I'm still a product of that energy. I'm still a product of my environment. So, no matter how much I'm trying to break from it, I still hear shit. I still got to call back home and talk to niggas. My day ones, at least, you feel me? It's authentic with me. You know? I ain't on the internet with makeup trying to hide my blemishes and fighting, nigga. I embrace every part of me. I ain't on this bitch trying to go whiten my teeth so my smile look brighter for y'all or, or get some uh veneers put on my shit. I ain't on none of that. Feel me? I could wear chains. I choose to wear crystals, man. I I wear rather wear a diamond ring before I wear a diamond chain. If I do get a diamond chain, that shit'll say, God damn it, the UCI or some shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, but the dude, like it ain't that ain't the frequency. So when I be seeing all the little hatred, it be like, damn, that's crazy. Like Y'all turning this shit to fame, man. Y'all treating this shit like it's a game, man. I'm really out here too with these people behind waking people up. I feel like if we all waking people up, man, I'm for everybody, man. Like, I started off that way. Niggas started getting bougie. Everybody else was bougie. I ain't never had a problem name dropping and showing love to other, other teachers. But a lot of teachers had a problem with me. You feel me? Like, and then I responded, and now I look like the crazy guy. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, like, what more can a motherfucker want? You know? Like I say, my own city ain't even embracing what I'm doing on this level, on this magnitude. You know what I'm saying? Like it should be, nigga. The motherfuckers ain't, ain't, you know what I'm saying? They highlighting the, they highlighting the niggas that's rapping about violence, man. They not highlighting the, I'm, I'm unique, man. We ain't got none of us coming out. We ain't got no Malcolms and no, none of that coming out the show. I'm the only one, nigga. And I'm from the streets, nigga. Malcolm was a gangster and then he learned. And then he, that's why they feared him. See, you know, that's what they fear. That's what they fear, nigga. Nigga, go watch the movie, nigga, when Frank, when, when Malcolm X was talking to Frank Lucas, you know, because Malcolm X hung with all the gangsters in Harlem. Feel me? Nigga, Frank Lucas told him, you know what America can't stand? And my homie just reminded me of this shit. They can't stand when you a gangster, right? Because they know you ain't no fear in your heart. They can't stand when a gangster turn his life around and become full of knowledge. Because that gangster still ain't got no fear in his heart. And he got all this information so now he know what the war about. They fear that. That's me. You know what I'm saying? Like Malcolm was a gangster and then he turned his life around. He went and did six years in jail. I had to do six years, basically. See what I'm saying? Two, four years to fight that case that I got convicted of a felony for another case. It had to do two years probation. I just got on probation last year. You feel me? Like y'all, I just got on probation last year. Like right when I started teaching, like that June, nigga, I had to get on probation like a week before the George Floyd rise, nigga. Matter of fact, nigga, no, I didn't. I got off after the George Floyd ride. That's what I'm saying, nigga. I was on probation at the and riding, nigga. I was at the end, but shit, nigga, I was. You feel me? So in total, I didn't gave the system six years of my life. That's why I said I I'd never go sit in no cell again. And knowing what I know, knowing that the laws ain't righteous, and knowing that shit ain't, it's all set up for them to make money off you every day. And then me knowing like the people that's really. That, that the people that's really doing all the violence are the ones that make the law. When I found out, like, the people that's. That's making the law are the ones doing all the fucking, all the fucking, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Like, the literally, y'all, the people that sitting down the legislators that's writing the law. These are the drug dealers, nigga. These are the fucking sex traffickers, nigga. These are your murderers, nigga. I can't honor no system like that. So that means if y'all say y'all gonna kill me and I fight back, what y'all gonna do? Or if y'all try to make up a reason to arrest me, and I say, man, under moral law, y'all can't arrest me. If y'all put cuffs on me, that's kidnapping me. And if I deny y'all cuffs, y'all can make up any reason to try to cuff a nigga like they always do. Now, you got your reason and you got your charge to cuff me. But what if I don't want to get cuffed? Now you're going to kill me for resisting arrest. 
Or that's a whole standoff and somebody got to die. Well, that's just what it got to be with me. Because at the end of the day, that's bound to happen eventually. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you ain't, I ain't got to be out here speaking, even if a person not even doing what Rashad Jamal or these other speakers doing. They could be riding their car, get pulled over, and get killed by you bitches, man. You know how many women sitting in jail right now because they had fucked up husbands and baby daddies and them niggas lied on them? It go both ways. See, they don't talk about how when, when niggas lie and get females locked up, they do. And, and they don't talk about how when females lie and get niggas locked up. And these people that created the system, they only want to get us locked up. So that's why it don't take much to get you locked up. But it take hard as hell to get out of that shit. We ain't got our own political parties, nigga. We not sitting at them tables when y'all coming up with these laws. So how has some change, nigga? Ain't none of us at the table when y'all writing this shit. And if y'all gonna write this shit, it should be a rule in there to say y'all gotta follow this shit too. Y'all can't come up with the law and not follow the law and think I'ma still honor that shit or we gonna still honor that shit. You crazy. Because y'all killing niggas when we honor the law. Nigga, I don't sell drugs no more. I don't gang bang. I turn my whole life around. I start doing something positive and y'all attacking me. Y'all still attacking me. I'm damned if I do that if I don't. When I was gang banging in Chicago, y'all attack me. When I went and got a job, y'all attacked me. I got fired off one job in fucking Wisconsin because the fucking manager was racist as fuck. And he was mad because I was doing a job better than him. He thought I was going to steal his managerial position. So he got me snubbed out the gig. Boy, I was outside the lot three days straight waiting for his bitch ass. Never could catch him. To my girlfriend at the time, talked me out that shit like, just, just, just leave it alone. That's when I said I'll never work for this country again. And I haven't since. That was 2017. Let me know I ain't working for, for America again. Nigga, I love that job. I worked it hard, nigga. You know how it is when you get you a job you really love? Boy, I love that job. Because I'm good with my hands. I was in there doing, I was working at Franklin Fueling Systems. I was working for Franklin Fueling Systems, nigga. And motherfucking Madison, Wisconsin, nigga. I used to do, we used to put the pumps together that you you The pumps that when you pump your gas, we made them. We used to have to do like 100 a day. I had like 200 done on their ass. You hear me? Manager couldn't take it. I think his name was Rick, some little fat, white, racist, redneck. He used to be mad at the end of every day. Why? Why did you do 200? I'm like, shit, I was feeling good today. <laughs> I was feeling good today. We only needed 100. Hey, well, I thought you would be happy that I did 200. Then he want to take me off the pumps, and he want to put me on a, on, on a tube to go inside the pump. Which is, you got to push the fucking metal piece inside. Them bitches, that shit hard. Boy, it took me a week to learn that shit. I'm like, look at this motherfucker. But nigga, I need this bag, so I'm, I learned it. Thumbs hurt it all. Week two came, I learned that bitch. We supposed to make 50, I'm making 100. He like, this motherfucker is great, you hear me? He like, no matter what I throw at his ass. You hear me, nigga? I was a slave in that bitch. I don't give a fuck what you throw at me, nigga. I'm getting it done, nigga. I need this check, nigga. You feel me? I got to eat, nigga. I got bills to pay, nigga. Fuck you mean. You feel me? That's how it was. Then I got fired for working hard. It was over with, nigga. It was over with, nigga. It was fucked them people. It was fucked the whole system for real on the job. It was over. I'm, I'm never working again, nigga. Forever. I make my own companies. I work for somebody else with a company before I work for you motherfuckers. And that's what I did. I work for other black people who had companies. You feel me? And before I work for them, and then I got my own company. That's how I did that. I'm like, man, fuck all that. You feel me? Fuck all that, man. Nigga, that show you the system, nigga. That's the system, though. My, my mama got fired like that. 20 years, they come decide to downsize, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Walk off their jobs. Y'all fuck their jobs. Nigga, you stay on their job, they can let you go anytime. Boy, you better work for somebody else who own their shit or start your own shit. Nigga, we in the middle of Corona. You better call your landlord and say, man, it's Corona, man. I want to use my shit. They going to they gonna, they gonna bite. Fuck out of here. You got to just think ahead. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was heartbreaking, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. And then, like, you know, find out, make, getting to Atlanta and then had the music shit going. And then to get to that point and find out, like, oh, Santa Claus ain't real. That was more heartbreak. That was 2018. No, that was 2019. Yeah, 2018, 2019. You feel me? So, you know, 2019, I barely put music out. Nigga, I put maybe a couple songs out. I was trying to find out which way I was going to go. 2020 hit. I'm like, damn. You feel me? I'm doing it. We doing the music down in Atlanta. And, you know, it was love. You know what I'm saying? 
Fucking with B. I was doing shows, fuck with BD, and then we had our real, real love rich. We doing our thing. And I was loving it. It was I it was like, I was like, man, by the summer, nigga, we used to have Atlanta on Smash Like because the clubs we was going to, it was like my show was different. Go look on my wall. Like, other motherfuckers in Atlanta, you know, get on there, be turned up. Me, when I first started doing shows in Atlanta back in like 2018, 2017, I was trying to be turned up. And I'm like, that ain't me. So 2020, when I started doing the shows, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to grab a motherfucking cheer, nigga, and I'm going to sit down. And I'm going to talk to their ass before the song even drop. And I would go to the DJ and be like, hey, look, before you drop my shit, I want to talk. Let me talk. And then when I say drop that shit, that mean, that mean you're going to know. You're going to know. I'm going to tell you. Facts. Anybody went to my shows in Atlanta, I'll tell you. And I'm like, I'm going to be myself. I'm going to just be myself. And that's hard to do in Atlanta. Like, I'm going to be myself. Motherfuckers will get on their show. They'll be, they be turned up. And they come behind a motherfucker, turn up and slow it down. Like that black and blue laces y'all love. I was performing that. I started performing that last year in Atlanta, nigga. See what I'm saying? That ain't new. You feel me? And then, like, that was January, February, March. I'm talking about, and, like, all, everywhere we went, people was like, man, you're going you gonna to be big. You different. They're like, man, I ain't never seen nobody show like that in the way. Because I talked to them. So that was signs right there from the ancestors then, like, because I give, like, a mini lecture, nigga, before the song. Like, I'm talking to y'all facts. And we was going. Everything was getting better with shows. And then Corona hit. And I'm like, man, why people falling for this shit? Because I've always been aware through it all. Through it all. I've always been a, this person. This ain't this person who I am is still not new. It's just I, I said fuck everything and became this person a, a hundred, 24, 7. You get what I'm saying? I was like, like that with it. You know what I'm saying? When Corona hit, I'm like, fuck it, I'm up. And then that led, up, led up to George Floyd. Go back on my wall. I was telling people about 5G tablets and Corona right on Instagram before I even started, before I ever went live on Facebook. People that's following me on Instagram right now been following me since the music days. Since the page said Jetta before I changed it to Rashad Jamal. They in here right now too, I'm pretty sure. You know what I'm saying? So the whole shit been like a like a fight. So it's crazy like when people did start listening. I didn't expect y'all to listen. Because I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to tell, tell the truth. And people start listening and, and I can't control the rest. That's exactly how it went. And with that, then motherfuckers start coming with all the bullshit. And I'm like, damn, that was heartbreak for my own people. And then... And then that led to Facebook kicking me off for like a month. And then when I got back on Facebook, then there was rumors floating around saying I was motherfucking, um, what was they saying? Oh, I was supposed to be the devil. You know what I'm saying? Cause the same white dude that got me kicked off, because I was trying to debate the white dude. We was on Facebook, like 800 deep on live. That's why I don't go live on Facebook no more. Nigga, we was like 800 deep on live, nigga. You hear me? Some white people got on there. White dude started talking shit in the comments. I said, okay, well, nigga, get on here. Let's just debate science. You come with all your shit they taught you about humans. Come with your come with your whole Darwinism. Cause that whole shit about all uh human evolution and we evolved from apes and all that shit is Darwinism. And Charles Darwin was a motherfucking white racist motherfucker. Okay? So as soon as you get to going into any form of Oh well, no, you're lying. We all not gods, and and and, and, and y'all are human beings, and we all came from apes. That's called Darwinism, nigga. See, there I go. See, y'all let motherfuckers let these this lock in my way I talk in my lingo. And motherfucker, once again, I could do both. So when a motherfucker be like, oh, well, he, he dumb. He don't know what he's talking about. Okay, well, let me tell you exactly where, what the fuck it is, nigga. It's called Darwinism. Then motherfucker gets scared. Like, oh, this motherfucker got some intelligence. Oh, shit. This nigga got some intelligence. That's how it go. And he ain't scared. Well, he like he'll fuck something up. He, he say he ain't, but he look like he might. Man, I don't, man, I don't know. And that's exactly what happened. Motherfuckers choop, reported me. I'm kicked. We kicked off for a month. That's how we got the Instagram. Then motherfuckers start reporting Instagram. Boy, we've been kicked out. I used to get on Instagram. Go look at the IGTV. I got in 100 IGTV lectures. I was going live every day. That got shut down because niggas got on here hating. Reporting, posting shit. Boy, I would still be doing that. I stopped my normal pattern because I've been attacked. The leak shut my shit down. Every time I went live, I was getting attacked. I only got to go. I got to go on my website to go live. Feel me? And I told everybody on my website, we live on Instagram all this week. They already know. They should be in here right now, too. Shout out to the, the real university diversity. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, look, we going to go on there all week because I want I want it to hit the public because if we, we in the end game. So I wanted everything more, at least for what I'm saying this week. Now, next week, it's going to be locked in super. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't we going to be all the way on the website, but... You know what I'm saying? I'm just talking to y'all. We talking right now. We kicking and we cooling. We chilling. We relaxing, y'all. But it's imperative that I 
let y'all know who I am if you don't know who I am. You know, if you just now join it, man. That's why me and the me and the goddess, we worked it out. She ended up sending me my little bread back, but I was telling her why it hurt me. I'm like, look, man. She like, man, you know, we go back since day one in the university. I'm like, right, and that's why it hurt me. I'm like, if you follow me, let's say you order something from me, right? And you ain't got it, but you see everybody else getting theirs. You supposed to be like, damn, okay. I know I'm getting my shit because he's on here every day. You know what I'm saying? He already got a pe people attacking him. Why would I steal something from you? And that makes it easy for you to attack me. Now you running a YouTube making a video. My name's so fucking high in the search engine, you could just say my name and you're going to get a quick thousand views. I be watching it. Like, look at my motherfucker just saying my shit to get a thousand views. I seen a nigga tag me in. Niggas using my name for clickbait. I seen a nigga tag me in some shit and wasn't even talking about me. That nigga had like a rap video or something. It was like Rashad Jamal breaks down the etheric realms. And I clicked on it like... And that nigga rap video came on. I'm like, oh, this shit is getting out of hand. I done turned to a whole motherfucking entity out here. I still got a wife and kids, nigga. I'm somebody like you somebody. Niggas done turned me into a motherfucking action figure out here. Nigga like, damn, nigga, just take a nigga name and just... Like, when I say niggas' names, I speak on what's that. Well, it's they shit, the shit going on. You know how I many motherfucking celebrities I've never named? So that should let you know I'm not just some, some madman attacking celebrities for clout. What? I fuck with certain celebrities. <laughs> like, about man, if a nigga doing it, they doing it. If they not, they not. You feel me? Like... I see it, I'm like, that's crazy. But then I go type in other people's names and they do it to them too. So I don't feel so bad. It ain't just me. That's the one thing in common. They do that to every motherfucker. But it's like, you know, it's coming harder with me though. You know what I'm saying? It come harder with me, I think, because I, I'm actually speaking truth. You know? So it comes harder to try to stop. You know, it's the matrix. It's the matrix. You know, and then when I do try to reach out to people and squash shit, you know what I'm saying? They don't respond like they ain't said shit they damn self. And then when I stay in a fuck the mentality, then you got people commenting like it's y'all. And I be ready to slap such shit out of them, too. Now, you know what I'm saying? Like. I, I'm, it's different for me, y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's different for self. Because everything I'm saying and doing it's genuine. I literally got my whole life on the internet. I honestly believe that. Bro, I didn't even told y'all about the shit that was going on with my baby mama. Like, anything affecting me or, or trying to attack me, I'll let y'all know. Whether it's the truth about somebody else or my goddamn self. That's what people don't know. Is that there ain't no filter to this shit. Ain't nobody safe, including self. I don't hold no punches with myself. You know what I'm saying? I get on myself. I be like, come on, God. You got to start responding to every little thing sometimes, God. Some on, God. But it's a battle. It's a battle with self because we in the matrix. But I guess because some people look at me like an entity in their mind, they just feel like he can't make no, he can't never be wrong or he can't make no mistakes. Or they, I guess they paint this, this picture of you, you know, as, you know, I guess you become an idol to people or something, you know? But I I don't want to be no idol to people. I'm not I'm not no idol. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be nobody. I'm not that. I'm just here to remind you who you are. I'm a guy like you a guy. I'm not better than none of y'all. We all are are one. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want people to know. I don't want to be oh he the leader. Oh he the no. You feel me? This shit ain't about no rave reviews, man. Did you get the message with me? You know? Did you get the message with me? You know like. And the battle be not to get, not to turn on those who are woke. The ones that are, that need to hear this and the ones that never heard a lecture from me or never heard me speak life into the, into, into y'all. They out there every day. Every time I go live, it's somebody new getting to hear. So that's what make me be like, hold on. I got a mission to do. I got to save minds. I got to speak life into my people. That's all I'm here to do. To speak life into our people. That's why I say peace, God. Nigga, you a God. I don't call you no bitch hoe unless you get on that with me. But then I still be like, you a god, you just vibrate on in your nigga mode. But you a god and you a goddess. I speak that life to my people. That's all That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? The only the reason why all this stuff must be known about the history of our planet, like how this is North Africa. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Yeah, that must be known. No. Your location must be known. 
I could care less, you know, who believes it. I'm just here to, to tell it to you. For all y'all know, for those who don't believe, this could just be my opinion. And if you don't agree with my opinion, then why are you so serious? Why so serious? Unless you're talking about the serious star system. Why so serious? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you ain't talking about the serious star system, why are we? I've never seen so many people in the world disturbed by one person's opinion. One God. I'm just... One God has disturbed so many people. How has that happened, though? i never seen it. Now I've seen a YouTuber, nigga, I looked up to. I have respect for, man. Nigga made a YouTube talking shit about me. Talking about how the fuck he got so many followers in so little time. I unsubscribed. I'm like, man, he don't even know, man. I actually fucked with him. You know what I'm saying? And you looking at me talking about some subscribers, dog. Now I know all that bullshit you taught me was just that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? The shit you were saying was just that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because there were some things that he that he revealed that was information. That's just like, it's time y'all talk. I learn from everybody. I don't know why people got this in their head that I don't learn from nobody. I learn from everybody and everything around me. I am a great student, man. I am a student of the universe, man. I wake up every day thirsty to learn. I wake up every day thirsty to learn, man. Every day. Why, why are people being envious? Because you don't want to learn. You should be learning from me like I'm learning from you. But no, you rather look at me and be like, why are so many people, what? Boy, way, boy, there's people out there that got way more people following than me. What are you talking about? <laughs> I only got 50,000 people following me, man. Nigga, I ain't got no blue check. You don't hear me complaining about none of that shit, nigga. <laughs> nigga, you don't hear me getting invited to speak with... Brother Umar, Riza Islam, none of the guys that be getting invited. You don't, you don't hear me complaining about it, nigga. You don't hear me attacking them, making lectures about the niggas. None of that. You don't hear me doing it, man. You don't hear me, what's the other guy, Shaka Bars? You don't hear me dogging his name or attack. Maybe motherfuckers come say my name and try to turn it into an a, a Autobot Decepticon war. I'm a Decepticon. I ain't no motherfucking Autobot. Y'all are the Autobots. Y'all want to protect the interests of the humans and the elites. That make y'all Autobots. You old Optimus Prime ass niggas. You old Bumblebee Optimus Prime ass house Negroes. Nigga, me? Nigga, I'm a Decepticon. Nigga, I know what I am, nigga. I know I'm a machine. Nigga, and, and, and this was the machine shit, nigga. Before they got here, nigga. So I ain't with none of that Autobot tech shit y'all on. You hear me? None of that. Megatron, you hear me? You can be Optimus Prime if you want to. Y'all feel me out there reflection? These that these niggas Optimus Optimus Prime Bumblebee ass house Negroes. Me nigga, they wanna protect the humans. They wanna war chase me down to protect the humans and shit, nigga. They could be I'm a Decepticon, nigga, Megatron. You hear me? Big, 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 big machine. You hear me? I know what I am too, nigga. I ain't trying to make them make their ass feel better. <clears throat> None of that shit. Feel me like. That's what they call the spiritual community. That shit is fucked up. That shit has been infiltrated by motherfucking government informants posing as black people. Y'all can't tell. It ain't number beef going on in the goddamn so-called spiritual community. Every time you look up, nigga, somebody beefing. Somebody name getting dragged or some shit, nigga. You did? And that's like, for example, how Pharaoh had that me that day. He just tagged me out the blue, right? And then when I did respond, I look like I'm the nigga beefing. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, and then you had some motherfuckers blog about it, and they're just, they're just like clip when I responded, and then I read the comments, and they're like, he, he jealous, and he talking shit, and I'm like, oh my god, these motherfuckers, no, they done infiltrated some shit, and then I'll go look, right? That's Cointel Pro all day, and then I'll go look, and they'll be doing the same thing to Pharaoh. They'll be doing the same thing, and there'll be videos saying he's an agent, and then I'll go look up spiritual soul or something, and there'll be videos motherfuckers exposing him, then I'll go look up motherfucker. Conjure Queen, he be motherfuckers exposing her. And then I go look up Ralph Smart, his motherfuckers on there talking about he extra freaky. Like, I'm like, damn, I'm like, every, I'm like, damn, every motherfucker got a stigma. Everybody got YouTube videos about them. Boy, y'all can't tell these, these motherfucking government officials that infiltrated this shit. This shit ain't number propaganda, y'all. I am not beefing with nobody in the spiritual community, man. This shit is propaganda. That's how you know they finna, they, they plot an attack. They won't, they, so that way, they can get everybody confused. So when shit start happening, they can think it was all one of us going at each other. Like, y'all don't see that shit? 
Nigga, even the religious people sitting back laughing at our ass. They're like, look at these motherfuckers. That's why I believe in Jesus. That's exactly why you got to stay with Jesus. I'm like, oh my God, there we go, y'all. Now we looking like we the ones. You know what I'm saying? Now we ain't got no legs to stay. I'm saying like, come on, man, here we go. And then, you know, the motherfucking puppeteer, the true puppeteer, which is the elites, they sitting back like, yep, yep. Spawn Ghoulie, you hear me? And they got a bunch of Pinocchios. They spawn Ghoulie and motherfuckers. The niggas out here like, the spiritual community ain't shit. And then niggas in the spiritual community like, yeah, you ain't shit. And then other like, yeah, you ain't shit. And it's just a bunch of shit that like that going on. Straight spun ghoulies. Straight smoothies. And it's like, even when I don't even try to be a part of it, I get dragged in it. Y'all feel me? I try, I can't even teach y'all without them dragging a the nigga in some shit. You feel me? Like, damn, G, leave me out of the fuckery, will you? I'm not a tool with nobody. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Everybody got it. I don't want to smoke with nobody in the spiritual community. I would like the bitch. I would like the bitch on that. I don't want to smoke with nobody. I'm scared of them. I don't want to smoke with nobody in the spiritual community. Now, when it comes to these elites, I want to smoke with them. That's how I want to look. Because it's like, if I be myself and be like, and just respond to it, like, make that goofy ass out of here. Now, here they go, like, see, there he go. I told you he wasn't no real leader, bitch. Like, gee, <laughs> what do y'all want from me? Gee, you know what I'm saying? These people ain't happy for nothing, Joe. Like, and then when you don't respond, that's just like when the shit happened with, once again, let me mention YP. When the shit happened with YP and his baby mama, you know how I many motherfuckers hit me up? So you ain't gonna make no video about that, dog? You are, so how you feel about that? It's like, damn, G, why I gotta speak on it, though? You know what I'm saying? Why you wanna use me to attack, though? You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Brother Polite. Boy, that was a me. So you ain't gonna speak on it? Like, G, hold on. I can't speak on it because... First off, I didn't. I don't know if he did it. Second off, I know how bitches lie, and I know the man was trying to do. I know he was trying to get in good with Hollywood, but I do know he also put a lot of information out there. So with me knowing how they work, that's something I leave up in the balance. Now, if the nigga, even when they lie, oh, we got DNA. Man, who the fuck you think you fooling, man? <laughs> I if they got DNA and it's real DNA or DEA, that's wrong. Getting her drunk, beating her, all that. I said all that. But at the same time, I also know that if they want his ass, they can say they got the shit too and won't have shit. Let's not... For Come on, y'all. Let me show y'all something. My bad, y'all. Nah, I, I was. Y'all can hear me now. Y'all can hear me. Drop it down if y'all hear me. Y'all can hear me. Nine, if you hear me. It's still muted. Y'all can hear me. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can y'all hear me now? Okay, cool. My silly ass hit the mute button by accident when it, when I got up. You feel me? But yeah, like, so what I'm saying is this, right? Now, let's just say he wasn't doing shit with his life. It'd be easy for me to believe it. But if I know he's doing something with his life on that magnitude where he's trying to put something, he's been putting information out for years. So, I know how that shit go, all right? I know how the elites work. I know when it's a motherfucker speaking out, they either try to kill him or gel him or make him look bad so that you don't believe what they got to fucking say. That's a, one of the ways they attack. Now, motherfuckers that's already blind, they don't, they won't see that. So with me knowing that, I have to always give some sort of benefit of the doubt to that shit until all facts ride out. That's what I was saying. You know why? Because I know niggas that went through this type of shit in real life. Hold on, let me show y'all something. 
Let me show y'all something real quick. Boom. I know people went through that in real life. Let's read it. See, people forget this type of shit. A high school football star had a rape charge against him dropped after 16-year-old girl confessed that that rape never even happened. He spent almost six years falsely in prison and broke down when the case was moved to dismiss. Now, y'all, see, see, y'all forget about that shit or about motherfuckers who go down for murders and then after 25, 30 years, they get released. State, oh my God, you can't give no nigga that time back. Y'all forget that though. That man, it says he was a high school football star. Guess what, y'all? He can't get in the NFL no more. He ain't trained in six years. He missed his college. He made his old wit. You can't, re you can't even pay him and give him that back. Because if he was a high school football star, that means he loved it. To get that good at it. And that means he, that's all he did, man. That shit, come on, man. But, that, but, but, but hold on. We forget about that type of shit. That's the shit that I don't like about our people. Because when I got accused of attempt murder, people turned on me the same way. He ain't never coming home. He, yeah, 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 he did. And don't even know all the fucking facts. You could charge a motherfucking donkey, nigga. That's why I don't fuck with the system, G. You know how easy it is for a female to say you did some shit? They ain't even gonna, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna investigate shit. They gonna lock your goof ass up. Now you gotta spend years in jail just to prove you ain't do the shit. He can't get that back, man. That's the system we live in, man. That's why I ain't get over deep on the brother polite shit, man. Because then I'm going to feel like a fucking fool if the facts come out down the road that nigga ain't do the shit. And I feel like a fool if I, if, I, if, 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 if I say he didn't do it and it came out that he did it. So I can't say shit. All I can do is be like, man, shit, I don't know. You feel me? I don't, I don't know. I hope he didn't do it. I don't support that. But I also hope these people ain't trying to use that to make him fully sell out. Like I say, with him being so high up, it could potentially be a humiliation ritual too. Come on, man. But it's too many black towns that's been destroyed. I know that we coming right back. This we gonna turn that to election. We coming right back, y'all.